Binary operations. We shall define binary operation and we shall illustrate the binary operations on sets. Before we jump into binary operation, I will show to you some words that carry the syllable by. And then from there, we shall go to the idea of binary operation. Bigamy. So what is bigamy? Bigamy means married to two persons. This, by the way, is a crime. So something like this can happen. Let's say, for example, a man marries a woman, although he is already married to his first wife. He did not reveal to the woman that he is already married. When the first wife discovers that the husband marries another woman, the first wife can bring the husband to the court and sue him for bigamy. So bigamy means being married to two persons at the same time. Bisection. We had a lot of bisection in geometry. A line can cut a line segment. So to bisect a line means to cut it, to intersect it into two congruent line segments. The same with bisecting an angle. To bisect an angle means to, to cut the angle into two congruent angles. Binary star. If there are five most awesome events in the universe, the binary star has to be one of them. So a binary star is a star system composed of two stars. They spin around each other. They are so close to each other and they spin around each other so that from afar, they look only as one star. And you can only tell that they are in fact two by analyzing the signature of electromagnetic waves that comes from them using the technology of radio telescopes. So binary star because it involves two stars. How about the word operation? Okay, so the operation here in the title binary operation is somewhat comparable with the operations that we knew from grade school. Addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Although these are not the only operations in math. There are so many operations in math. So let us now define a binary operation. So a binary operation star on a set A is a function. So last time we spoke about the function. It is a function from A cross A to A such that for each AB element of A, star of AB is equal to C. So it's something like this. Okay, so I will, uh, I will show to you the sets. Last time I showed to you the function as diagramming. You are pairing elements from one set to the elements of another set. Okay, so let me just uh, finish this. Okay, so this is what happens. Oh, by the way, what is binary here? Where is binary here? Okay, so the binary in binary operation has to do with AB, with the elements of your cross product. The elements of your cross product is an ordered pair. It's a pair. That is what is binary in the binary operation. Now, star is a function. Okay, so you can look at star as something that does something to an object. So, this function will do something to AB so that it will pair it with, with an element C. And that C is also an element in A. So, this is how you read it. Star of AB is equal to C. You know, just like in your function, f of x is equal to y. f is your function. Okay, so you are matching x with y. So here, star is the function. So star of ab, okay, you will match this ab to one element c in your set a. I will go on explaining further the concept of binary operation through a crude animation that I did. Okay, so binary operation again, using this animation is something like this. Two jars here. Okay, separate jars. They contain marbles, but the marbles here are different from the marbles here. These are red, these are blue. Okay, so I will pick two marbles from this jar. This is my pair. This is the ordered pair. And we will apply the function star. And the function star will pair AB to another element C. But C is also found in this jar. So if this is true, 
If this is how the star pairs AB to an element C, then this is an example of a binary operation. However, something different can happen. What if something like this happens? You apply star on AB, but the result is not to be found in this jar. It's to be found in another jar. If this is what happens, then this star is not a binary operation. I will go on illustrating to you the meaning of a binary operation. So this is a cross product, z cross z. This is an operation. We will apply the operation on your integers and we will figure out if, if after applying the function, there is the result an integer or not. This is an ordered pair. One is an integer, five is an integer. This is a function or this is our operation. Addition. So we will apply addition on one and five. The result is six. Is six an element of the set of integers? Yeah, six is an integer. How about when the operation that we shall apply is multiplication? Okay, so when we apply multiplication on one and five, the result is five. Five is an integer. How about when the operation that we shall apply is division? We shall apply division on one and five. One over five is a decimal number. It is not an integer. Okay, so what then are our conclusions? By the way, this is just an example. In fact, you can choose any element from the set of z cross z. When you apply addition, the result is an integer. In which case, addition is a binary operation on the set of integers. The same with multiplication. Think of any integer. Think of any integer, a, b. You get their product. What is the product? The product is still an integer. So x or, or multiplication is a binary operation on z. What about division? Think of any arbitrary pairs of uh, numbers from the set of integers. You apply division. Well, sometimes it will yield a, an integer. Let's say, for example, 4 and 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. But not always. Not always. In fact, for 1, 5, applying division on 1, 5 gives a decimal number. It is not an integer. Therefore, division is not a binary operation on Z. The binary operation is equivalent to the idea of closure property. You always read this property whenever you begin talking about the set of real numbers, going back to grade 7, going back to grade 8. So what does it mean? A non-empty set A is closed under star. A non-empty set A is closed under star. This is an operation. If and only if this star is a binary operation. Let us bring back our table. So addition on the set of integers. You pick any two integers, you add them, the result is, is an integer. So that means our addition is a binary operation. It also means that z is closed under addition. You pick any two integer, you apply multiplication, the product is an integer. So star or multiplication is a binary operation. It also means that z, the set of integers, is closed under multiplication. Division is not a binary operation on the set of integers. So this means z, the set of integers, is not closed under division.